about the lighting. It never changes. It's always like the worst here. But I just got my booster vaccination. I want, I want to show you, but <laughs> look, ta-da. I am, I was already fully vaccinated, but now I got a booster and I'm so happy about that. I did a ton of grocery shopping, so I have lots of stuff to make. I will be making vegetarian lasagna tonight, so I'm very excited about that. But hi guys, officially, because you've already seen me do my thing this morning, but today is the start of me starting to study for my two finals that I have next week. And it's been a super long time since I've had two finals within two days, within 24 hours. And I just have a crap ton to do <laughs> and I'm kind of scared. That we're gonna do it together. I have followed all of my lectures, but I need to do a ton of summarizing and a lot a lot of reading chapters from my book, especially for social psychology, which is one of the courses that I have a final for. I need to learn this whole book within the next week. And I think I only read four out of the 13 chapters. So that's gonna be a journey. And I also have cognition and behavior. When I posted this on my Instagram, showing you guys that I was studying, people were like, do a study with me, do like a week in the life log. So the last one didn't do super well, but perhaps you guys will like this video. I have no clue. <laughs> life is boring, you know, with all these like COVID cases and you can't really do a ton of things, but I hope that you guys will still enjoy me vlogging, I guess. <laughs> but first, a word from our sponsor, Anna Luisa. I've teamed up with them a couple of times already and I love their brand so much. And if you watch my videos, you see that I'm always wearing their jewelry pieces. Anna Luisa makes sustainably crafted jewelry that does not only bring you like joy and excitement to wear the pieces, but it's also good for the planet. In order to minimize waste, they release small batches of jewelry every single week. They only use recycled materials which are coming from electronic components or from previously worn jewelry. And one thing that I think is so cool is that their diamonds are actually lab grown diamonds. So you don't have to go through the whole mining process, which is really quite damaging for the earth as well. So I will show you guys the pieces that I'm currently wearing with this outfit. I think it just adds that little bit of extra oomph to it, if you know what I mean, because otherwise this could be quite like a boring sweater. Like honestly, I think it's really cute, but the jewelry makes it even more like classy feeling, if it makes any sense. This is honestly one of my favorite necklaces also because it has like a little tulip on it because when I see the tulip, I always think of my country. I also really love this necklace. It's just really simple, but it makes just a really nice combination with any other necklace that you're wearing. And my earrings is actually like a set of two of the same. I believe these are called the Roxy earrings, but this one is the mini and this one is a little bit of a bigger one. And I think it just makes a really nice combination and I always wear this like fake earring or like how do you call it it's called an ear cuff I think because it looks like I have a piercing in but I don't and I didn't have to go through that whole healing process which I just hate and what is so exciting is that they are running a special Valentine's Day sale whether you are taken or not and you're single treat yourself to some beautiful jewelry and right now you can get there buy one get one with 40% off, which is just an amazing deal. So definitely check out the link to Anna Luisa in the description box down below. And right now let's go on to my study slash reading vlog. <laughs> but everyone knows that with a successful study session, you need to have a great cup of coffee. So I'm gonna make myself some coffee, a lovely oat milk cappuccino, maybe with like a little bit of hazelnut syrup because treat yourself, why not? <laughs> Before I'm gonna make my coffee, I need to advise on this because <laughs> I know this seems so random, but I have bought a ton of new clothes at Monkey because that's just like my favorite place where I shop clothes. But I always wanted to get like a beret thing because I think it would look so cute on me. But now that I am gonna own it, I think I'm just not sure. Like, does it look like swimming cap? Like, how do we feel about it? I think it can look like super cute with outfits, but I am just a little bit in my head sometimes. Look, if I style it more like at the back of my head, I just show off my giant forehead and I don't want to emphasize it more that it already does by itself. <laughs>
god, my hair looks so gross like this. Okay, there's no one around, so it's safe to vlog, but <laughs> I am going on like a quick 20 to 30 minute walk because I haven't really moved well in the past couple of days and I can definitely feel it in my lower back. It's not good for my posture. And right now, knock on wood, the weather is still looking good. The sun is shining. I mean, it looks nice outside and it's really great to just like get a bit of fresh air in there in between learning sessions. So I'm gonna go on a little walk and then I need to study a lot. Hopefully today will be a productive day. <laughs> quit super soon because my mind is just kind of like done with everything but still I wasn't able to do everything that I wanted like I almost was I did summarize and read about three chapters of the 14 of social psychology I really like this course social psychology basically studies how the presence or imaginary presence of other people influences our thoughts our behaviors and our feelings and it's so applicable to literally every single thing in real life, which I think is so interesting. You can think of so many examples that just like happen in your day-to-day -day life and connect it to social psychology. So luckily at the end of every single chapter, you can do like a little test of how well you know the things that you've just learned. And I'm doing fine until so far. After I've done my reading of the book, I will finish my book that I'm currently reading for pleasure, which I haven't actually talked about yet with you guys, but that's because I'm also reading it for a dedicated video. And that is What's a Girl Gotta Do by Holly Bourne. This is the third and final book in the Spinster Club trilogy. It is a YA contemporary fiction that deals with feminism, friendship, boyfriends, love, stuff like that. And this is one of my favorite book series. It's like so good. Can't wait to finish that a little bit later, but I'm gonna chill. I will talk to you guys in a couple of days. guys so as you can probably tell i'm back in my dorm and the test is in two hours <laughs> i feel pretty good about how social psychology is gonna be a friend of mine is coming over in like probably five minutes or something and then we're gonna have dinner together so that's gonna be nice to just talk about feelings and i think we both are doing a good job with it i am so glad though when these finals will be over because um i have been stressing just like so much and I've been spending all of my time studying and I always hit that point of like, okay, I've studied way too much. My motivation is like completely thrown out of the window. That's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> I was so nervous for this final, but everything went fine. I kind of forced Julia to do a thumbs up for this video, but I'm so <laughs> glad she did. And I also went on a really nice walk with my friend Mariska from my previous bachelor's degree. And I just, oh my gosh, I stress so much about things that I don't need to worry about because I got some amazing grades for my finals. So I was so glad to go on this beautiful walk through Utrecht and I just love this city so much. The next day I went to therapy for the first time and I just want to talk about this openly with you guys because I feel like there's still such a stigma on going to therapy but I will be treated for generalized anxiety disorder because I just got my diagnosis and I'm so glad that I finally taken this step in 2022 and I am looking forward to working on my mental health so much and i will be talking about it more openly in my future videos as well because going to therapy is probably going to be life-changing and i want to take you on that journey with me i just went to therapy for the first time oh my gosh 
gonna get myself a coffee right now. Hi everyone, as you can see, I am back in my room at home home is what I call it instead of my dorm. I am packing some Etsy orders. My Etsy store is still open. If you didn't know, I sell bookmarks, notebooks, tote bags. Wait, I wanna show you my tote bag because I am so proud of it. This is what it looks like. Ooh, it's a dark academia tote bag and I think it looks so beautiful. And I use it basically all the time and I sell other cute bookmarks such as this one. I hope that you can see it. And with me following only one course in the next, not semester, but like in the next 10 week period, I'm really hoping to focus more again on like my Etsy orders and just my designs and creating new things. And I'm really excited about it. I feel super, super energized. I also wanna share with you guys the book that I'm currently reading because I actually finished that Holly Bourne book that I started reading when I was filming this vlog for the first time, I think. I'm so confused. <laughs> so I finished What's a Girl Gotta do by Holly Bourne. I think in the end I gave it a four and a half out of five stars. I don't want to go too deep into my thoughts because I decided to pick this book up for a themed reading vlog, which I'm super excited about. But I was still so unsure after finishing this one, like, oh my gosh, what type of book do I want to pick up next? Because I'm definitely a mood reader and I still feel like I'm in that YA contemporary mood. Um, <laughs> this is going to be so, how'd you call that? Like not diverse in my reading, but I really wanted to pick up another Holly Board book. <laughs> and this one is, it only happens in the movies. This is like a standalone YA feminist rom-com is kind of like the feeling that I'm getting of this one. This is about bad boys turn good, kisses in the rain, climbing through bedroom windows. It only happens in the movies. When Audrey meets Harry, it's the start of a truly cinematic romance, or is it? Audrey knows that Harry is every movie cliche rolled into one, but she still chooses to let him into her heart. And I started reading this one on the train yesterday. I am currently on page 30. Two. And like, I feel fine about it. Our main character, Audrey, she just starts working at this very like exclusive cinema. And we get to know that she has kind of like a very difficult family situation. I think her parents have like just separated and there are gonna be some struggles with that. I've heard pretty good things about this one. So I'm currently a bit on like a Holly Bourne train. I just, I just like her vibes and I wanna read all of her books. Me and my friends are actually going to Yalk by the, what? Me and my friends are actually going to Yelk this year, the Young Adult Literature Convention in London. So all of us Dutch booktubers will be there and I'm so excited to like meet my friends, but also to meet these authors. And I feel like Holly Bourne has always been at Yelk, so I might get my books signed by her and meet her, which is gonna be so cool. That was my little reading update. I am gonna do my thing and I will check in with you guys later. to another reading vlog. I am so excited because I'm doing another reading challenge video. Today, I will start reading 100 pages a day for the next couple of days. I've said day so many times in this sentence. Oh my God. 